let's take a look at how to choose numbers with a particular quotient. Which two numbers have a quotient of 10? Okay, well, first of all, we need to know that vocabulary word quotient. Quotient is the answer you get when you divide. So when we divide two of these numbers, which one is gonna give us the answer or quotient of 10? Well, I can see that 20 divided by two would give me 10. Which two numbers would have a quotient of two? Okay, well, which two of these numbers, when I divide them, am I gonna get an answer of two? Well, 10 divided by five would equal two. Which two numbers have a quotient of three? Okay, so I'm looking for two numbers that when I divide them, gives me three as my answer. Well, 15 divided by five, that would work. Which two numbers have a quotient of three? So again, I wanna divide two of these and get three as my answer. Well, 30 divided by 10, that would work. Which two numbers have a quotient of two? Okay, so I'm looking for two numbers that when I divide them, I get the answer two. Okay, so, well, 30 divided by 15, right, since if 15 is half of 30, that's gonna work. Which two numbers have a quotient of two? Okay, so I'm looking for numbers that when I divide them, I get two as my answer. Well, 26 divided by 13, that's gonna give me two, right? 13 is exactly half of 16. Which two numbers have a quotient of 10? Okay, so two things that when I divide them, I get 10 as my answer. Well, 20 divided by two, that would give me 10. Which two numbers have a quotient of two? Okay, well, what, which ones, when I divide them, will give me two as the answer? Well, 20 divided by 10, that would be two. Which two numbers have a quotient of four? Okay, so I'm looking for things that when I divide them, I get four as the answer. Well, 24 divided by six, that would work. That would give me four. Which two numbers have a quotient of three? Okay, so which ones, when I divide them, will I get three? Well, 27 divided by nine, that would give me three. 